was December 1st when outside the Groves family's house, a creature was stirring, and it wasn't a mouse. It's magic. One of Santa's helpers. This is our elf Graham. The size of Shaq. He's six foot tall. Looks like he's under attack. You can imagine the scare. He was looking for reindeer and found a fierce bear. He tried to lure it in with some salt, and there was a really salty bear. You know what I mean? And it started chasing him. Graham the Elf has officially ditched the shelf. We had an uh, elf on the shelf in our house, and then the uh, elf grew up. Rhyme time is done. This story's too fun, and this reporter is not a poet. He definitely knows it. <laughs> So meet Brian and Dylan Groves, the Floyd's Knob's dad and son are bringing the holiday spirit to life. We just decided to share some Christmas joy for the neighborhood and their friends and family. From the beginning of this month to the day an elf's work ends, they're putting on a show for all in Southern Indiana. We get a lot of traffic, you know, pull in the driveway, take pictures or slow down at the end of the driveway. Their huge Christmas display changes daily. One day their elf on steroids is slaying a huge praying mantis. He had to Put it down. The next, he's picking up the dogs, you know what, in the front yard without raising much of a stink. And my dad didn't want to clean it up. I didn't want to clean it up. That's got to earn him a spot on the nice list, right? Anything this duo can come up with happens, and the hard holiday work is much appreciated. We get some messages from uh, our neighbors saying their kids really love it, and they have to actually make special trips every night just to come down and see what the elf is up to. This fourth grader certainly doesn't mind the attention either. I was one of the most popular kids on my bus. So, woohoo! Dad and son spreading Christmas cheer until St. Nicholas is finally here. Last one, I promise. In Floyd's Knobs, Chris Souter, WDRB News.